They say it was actually snowing in some parts of the area, I believe it anyways. It's really chilly in various parts. And what's going on today? How about this one? Apparently, there's been a drone milestone of sort for a drone delivery. This one says 47 kilometers in 34 minutes. Gurgaon Innovators Historic Drone Delivery to Ames Rishikesh. As it says here, Tech Eagle, a leading innovator in on-demand drone delivery based in Gurgaon, achieved a groundbreaking milestone by completing one of the largest drone delivery flights in collaboration with Ames Rishikesh. The historic mission aligned with the Pranman Mantri TB Mukti Yonji successfully transported essential tuberculosis medicine, showcasing the immense potential of drone technology in revolutionizing healthcare logistics. The success of this mission in challenging hilly terrains was made possible with the unwavering support of the Drone Diddy initiative under the PM scheme. This empowering initiative provides comprehensive training to women's self-help groups, enabling them to proficiently operate and monitor drones, thereby contributing to the empowerment of local communities. So some technicalities, it says the drone adeptly navigated through complex terrains and elevations, achieving an impressive altitude gain of over 2.5 kilometers in a single 47 kilometer journey. To put this feat into perspective, the same distance would take more than four hours by road Tech Eagle's Vertiplane X3 delivered the payload, including crucial TB medicines in just 34 minutes, marking an incredible 8 times improvement in speed compared to traditional road transport. That's great, I guess, in terms of the innovation, at the same time, in terms of comparing, I think you'd have to kind of compare it to, I guess, other types of manned aircraft, correct? That would be a better comparison anyways. Either way, it's good to have the use of the technology in these ways. Although without thought of traditional, I guess, manned aircraft, what's going on with that company Boeing? You've heard in recent times where there were a lot of issues with their airplanes for whatever reason. And now this one says FAA grounds more than 170 Boeing 737 MAX 9S after a section of Alaska Airlines plane blows out. As it says here, the Federal Aviation Administration on Saturday ordered a temporary grounding of dozens of Boeing 737 MAX 9 aircraft for inspections a day after a piece of the aircraft blew out in the middle of an Alaskan Airlines flight. This is images and videos of the Alaska Airlines flight 1282 that were shared on social media showed a gaping hole on the side of the plane and passengers using oxygen masks before we returned to Portland shortly after taking off for Ontario, California on Friday afternoon. The FAA's Emergency Airworthiness Directive will affect about 171 planes worldwide and applies to U.S. airlines and carriers operating in U.S. territory, the agency said. Alaska and United Airlines said late Saturday that they were grounding their entire fleets of Boeing 737 MAX 9s. That is crazy and it says no serious injuries were reported on flight According to the federal safety officials, there were 171 passengers and six crew members on board, Alaska Air said. It makes you wonder, why did this happen, huh? Especially with all this news around that company in recent times. Did some new management come in or something saying, okay, we're going to focus more on profits than actual quality and all that. Either way, does it make you more worried to actually fly, I guess? And then there was this piece of news that was kind of interesting because of the reaction from a news reporter actually. It dealt with a scenario where there was a kid who was playing the game Tetris, a really old one. If you guys ever played it, it's basically blocks that drop from the sky for example. And you're supposed to form lines and the more lines you clear, the more points you get. But this game is supposed to go on forever. However, if you actually keep going, just eventually the game will freeze, so you technically beat the game, even though I guess it's more of like a glitch of sort. But anyways, this kid was the first in the world to ever achieve this. He was so excited, but it's her reaction basically and commentary at the end of the report that actually got a lot of reactions. So this is actually what they did and this is what she said. <gasps> Well, 13-year-old American Willis Gibson has technically yes. proven that wrong. He beat the original Nintendo version of the game by reaching such a high level that the coding froze that left the program unable to generate any more falling blocks. As a mother, I would just say step away from the screen, go outside, get some fresh air. Beating Tetris is not a life goal. Speaking of fresh air, let's get a look at the weather. 
So why this was fascinating to me is because you can change the topic to anything else in life where you have comments like these which always make me wonder. I get it if you are, for example, ignorant about a topic in general, but why would you make a comment like that? It would be like me, for example, let's just say if I don't play something like golf or something like that, and then I'd say, okay, making a hole in one or whatever, it's not an accomplishment in life. Like, don't aspire to do that. Like, what in the world? Who does that? And you can read some of the comments, like this first one says, I don't know about gaming Sigma, but can they just let the kid bask in his glory for a minute without having to tear him down? I guess with the reporter, Jane Secker, uncool. She needs to climb down from her journalist throne and go outside and touch grass first. And another one saying, good for her. Jane Secker gave wise advice that the child's parents did not. I'll get to that in a bit, actually. It says, it would seem Jane Secker has a life goal of getting fired from her lucrative broadcasting job for making bigoted comments on air. Wonder what great and important things she accomplished at age 13. And another one saying, whereas the 16-year-old dart players who are more likely spent the same time indoors didn't have the same response. Now, that other response, apparently, from what I read, the kid lost his parent for example like not too long ago so this accomplishment is probably really great for him for his self-esteem but again like in these situations how do people have this type of mentality in that way i'll just say in general that's not easy to do and that is transferable skills in many ways too for example flying things in a drone that's one of the ways i was able to pick it up really quickly it's almost exactly like playing a video game all the thinking for example multitasking because if you think about it and i was to be that narrow-minded i could say the same thing about her isn't it lady sitting in a desk and reading a teleprompter for your entire life is not an accomplishment in life go outside for example like wouldn't it be the same thing as saying that i mean people have different skills people benefit in different ways i mean the important thing in my opinion in a situation like this is the kid basically had a goal in mind he put in the effort and he accomplished something and in this case like a world record of sort that's something to admire in my opinion because who knows i can transfer to other things as well you could say i want to accomplish this so i will i mentioned it before and unfortunately it's still a thing and this is kind of an example of it where i have like a wide range of backgrounds i do various hobbies and so forth it gives me a great perspective in life to always try to understand for example things that i don't and here you do have these people who only stay with their own i guess social network their own industry without exploring other things to understand what it's like and it's just kind of weird when you i guess quote mingle with these people or associate with them for professional reasons and so forth they make these comments and you're just standing there like saying hmm tell me more because technically for example like here i could say well i play video games too what are you trying to say <laughs> like i don't say that usually but it's, it's interesting to see people's true personalities in my opinion i mean what can you say all i can really suggest is that people open up their minds and try to be educated about a topic before making some kind of snap judgment i mean again you can say that about anything even like for sports people would often say what that looks so easy what's so impressive about that and then when they try to do it it's like oh my god this is like so tiring how do you do this it's like the same thing open up your mind in my opinion
Alright, see you guys later.